Hey everyone, Will here. Uh, this video is for all my uh, friends up north in the northern states and in Canada. Uh, I've gotten a few questions uh, lately about uh, saving Canadian cents. Uh, I've done a lot of videos about saving uh, U.S. copper cents. And uh, uh, Canadian cents are a little different. U.S. cents, you want to start saving everything made before 82. But in Canada, it's a little bit easier. Um, basically, um, you want to save anything made before 1996. So, but Canada has changed their composition of the uh, cent for a while. Uh, between 1942 and 1977, um, Canadian cent is 98% copper and is currently worth 2.7 cents. It weighs 3.24 grams. Uh, between 78 and 79, they made it a little bit thinner, um, so it's uh, worth uh, 2.69 cents. Uh, between 1980 and 81, they made it a little thinner still, and is worth 2.33 cents. It weighs that the 80 and 81 cents Canadian cents weigh 2.8 grams. Between 82 and 1996, that's when they made a 12-sided coin, uh, and that is worth 2.79 cents, uh, and that only weighs 2.5 grams. But it's still 98% uh, 98 copper content up until uh, 1997. So uh, after 1996, uh, there's only 4.5% uh, copper in Canadian cents. Um, after 96, the 12 sided uh, coin reverted back to the round design in 1997. To give you an idea, the 1997 and 19, through 1999 is 98.4% zinc uh, with a copper plate, and that's only worth 0.49 uh, cents. So, and then they got even cheaper, starting in 2000 until today, in 2012 they started making them out of uh, steel. Uh, they're 94% steel, 1.5% nickel, and 4.5% uh, copper plate. So uh, there you go. Uh, if, you're, if you have access to uh, a lot of uh, Canadian cents, uh, start saving them. Um, not quite sure if uh, it's probably the same as here in the uh, U.S. You know, just go to your local bank, get a bunch of uh, rolls of pennies, sort through them. Get yourself a Rydale sorter and uh, go into a big time. Uh, Rydale sorter sorts 300 uh, pennies a minute. Uh, get yourself a nice little stockpile going. Uh, the amount of copper cents in circulation gets a little bit lower every uh, day. Uh, more and more people are doing this. They're starting to realize there's money to be made. Uh, the amount of uh, copper um, on the uh, the world supply of copper is uh, a bit of a shortage. Um, China is eating up everything in sight uh, when it comes to copper. Uh, it's a huge demand and everything's supply and demand when it comes to price. Uh, copper's up so far 13% for this year um, and I see it continuing to rise in my opinion. So start saving your Canadian cents or American sense. If it's copper, save it. You'll be glad you did.